I'd like to make this video because this issue has now happened to me twice and has crashed my server for abnormal amounts of time in different mod pack versions and very, very different scenarios. <laughs> so I'd like to make sure that anyone that is as new as I probably still am to Minecraft management doesn't have to figure this out for themselves. So, the issue at hand, your server is crashing because Players are attempting to load in a specific chunk, whether it is force loading and potentially that you have to remove, or just simply walking into the chunk or teleporting to the afflicted place and immediately crashing the server. <laughs> you are not able to react fast enough as a player or server admin to kill, to use the kill at E command or the kill at E of the specific type of mob you know is there because the server crashes before you can do it. <laughs> there is a thing about Minecraft and just how Minecraft stores server and BT data in general, where entities are stored in the server data itself so that they're available between reboots. And they're stored in a different position between the Minecraft versions you're using. Um, for the more recent Minecraft versions, <laughs> you'll want to look in the entities folder in your world folder. This will look similar to the uh, region folder that you'll have to look in for versions of Minecraft prior to 1.17. You'll see a ton of .mca files in both. These will be, they'll be relatively smaller, like in terms of file size on uh, in here. They might be a bit bigger if you're having issues. I'm not sure of the specifics because I do not have Corrupted World on hand. You'll want to, Find a Minecraft coordinate calculator to uh, find the chunk region information to determine which file you're going to use. If you can, try to go over to the exact site or chunk that has caused the issue and plug the uh, block or chunk coordinates into here. This will give you a region, this will give you a file that you'll be able to access. Um, download this file and view it. I'll first show you how this works on a newer server, and then I'll go back and show you how this works on an older server. I actually have this file downloaded because I inputted these and this is like my 10th take or something. But when you open it up in MBT Explorer, you should have MBT Explorer downloaded by the way, it's very useful in general. Um, you'll be able to observe all the chunks that are located inside of the chunk region. Specifically, you'll want to find the chunk with the right coordinates. Oh, that's the wrong file. Hold on. There we go. Specifically, you'll want to find the chunk with the same region information, with the uh, same chunk section information as the in-world um, tab to the right of it. This specific chunk is not loaded, so I'll use one that's relatively close to it for an example. Generally, if a uh, chunk has corrupted data or just has a ton of mobs in one place to the point where it can't properly load it, you will not be able to expand the entry like this. In those cases, it is safe to simply delete the entire, um, delete that entire data for that specific chunk, like so. Hold on, there we go. You might be able to expand it it is still safe to delete it in those cases. Generally, the entities list is way too long, and that's why you can't open it in the first place. You can trim this entity list if you'd like. Generally, that's not recommended. It requires a lot more fine tuning, but if there's important mobs in the same area, it could be helpful to do that. Let's see how this looks for an older region file. I'm just going to take a random chunk, place it in here, and the file should look similar, but it will have a lot more information in it. In 1.17, this information was separated to a new folder. And that's where the entities folder comes from. <laughs> so we'll open up our chunk, and we'll open up level after that. Inside of here, we'll be able to find the entities, which we should be able to do something similar if we can even load in. If we can't, and the only option is to delete the entire chunk, Sometimes that is a pop. Sometimes it is a possibility as it's not packaged the same, unfortunately. 
Hopefully this solves your issue. I'm not very experienced, so I won't be the greatest to answer your questions, but if you have any pressing ones, feel free to comment them down below, and I'll try my best. Thank you very much.